Welcome back again to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat. And I'm Raven. And tonight we are doing another Redux. So we've been on YouTube a lot shorter of an amount of time than we have been making soap. So there's a lot of designs that you guys have never seen us do on the channel. So we're going to do one of those. So previously we had done Big Bad Wood, which was a really fun, very quote unquote masculine scent. And my apologies, that's just the description that the scents, the fragrance oils have. I like the scent. I would use it on myself and I consider myself feminine. So apologies. We're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a wood grain-esque soap. So let's start off here. We've got our oils all ready to go. Got our lye and distilled water already mixed up with the sodium lactate. And let me burp my blender here, no bubbles. I'm gonna give this a blend real quick. Oh, that's looking pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, we want this one to stay nice and liquidy to get. Yeah, because we gotta split it off. Yeah. And then pour it. Yes, and then pour it. Well, we're going to do this a different way than the last time we tried to do a wood grain. Um, last time we tried to do the wood grain in separate bottles, and I'm not feeling that this time around. So this time, we're going to do some separate colors here. So first off, I'm going to do a black using black iron oxide. I'm not going to do a ton of this because I don't want it to be too dark. Then we're going to do a mocha brown which I think I might mix that one with the honey blush. Yeah, that's what you were planning on mixing with the honey blush. Well, and there you go. <laughs> so there's the honey blush. Excuse you, busy street. And then lastly, I've got the brown iron oxide. This one is from Chemistry Connection. And then the base is going to be just plain soap. So let's start by splitting off some colors. All right, I'm gonna do black iron oxide in here. My big boy to be the brown iron oxide. This one is going to be the honey blush. I think just a touch of the mocha. And before I start mixing up, the fragrance oil that we're using today is Spank Me Leather. <laughs> this is from Crafter's Choice. We ordered it from Wholesale Supplies Plus, which was our first order with them, which is exciting. I got a kinky name. All right, let's see. We're gonna blend lightest to darkest, which should be something like this. This is nice and liquidy, so look at that. That's a lovely color. That is. Okay, so we're gonna start off by putting a big chunk of the base in here. Okay, put that aside. Then we're gonna put some of this guy. Two, three. And we're gonna put some of this over here. Okay, and then just a little bit of the black right over here. Okay, so we've moved you around a little bit. So now we've got our container ready to pour, and I've got our molds propped up on one of our soaps. So that's brains down there. Seemed appropriate. And I'm just going to pour along the edge here. Just going to do a couple passes, and then come on over here and do the same thing. I mean, I already made my messed up observation about what soap we're doing and what we're propping them up, the molds up with. With brains? Yeah. You know, the one that smells like a campfire. <laughs> I suppose it's appropriate for a wood grain soap to be propping it up with a campfire scented soap. Okay. 
Okay, so there's our first pass. Go ahead and refill my little bucket. All right, starting to thicken up a little bit, so let's get moving. There we go. Get some of that over here. Spilled. It's Raven making a mess. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, we're at the point that I can just about flip the molds down in just a second here. There is something seriously wrong with me because now all of a sudden I've got, um, a song stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. It's about liking big butts. Why do you have that in your head <laughs> right now? I don't know. How is that relevant? You're silly. The random things that get stuck in my head at the most random times is just... mind-boggling and astounding. <laughs> impressive? Yes! Impressive! <laughs> I mean, at one point I had the, at work I had the, like, lovers do stuck in my head. So I was sitting there doing the dishes, singing it. <laughs> in the kitchen. I was singing it at work. Yeah, but that's like a song people play on the radio. You know, it's not like it's super filthy. No, no. It's not like, <gasps> you like an animal or something. I have sang that at work. <laughs> That might be questionable. <laughs> so we're waiting for this to set up enough that we can texture it. Uh, Kat's gonna go ahead and do the texture. Uh, last time I did it on Big Bad Wood, I wasn't 100% happy with how that came out on a lot of levels. I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of my bullshit with this. Sometimes as a creative person, you have a really specific vision in mind of what you want something to come out looking like. And when it doesn't, you have almost this childish response of like, but I wanted it like this, not like that. And it's hard sometimes to see the success in something when it wasn't the success you were envisioning. And I, I feel like that was the problem with the previous iteration. Like there's nothing inherently wrong with the previous iteration. It just wasn't what I had in mind. Yeah. No, I get that. I think we both had that reaction to it because, I mean, I was shocked when it sold out. I was like... It was the second one to sell out. Yeah. Vampire was the first and then Big Bad Wood. Yeah. And I was shocked when... Like, I was shocked when it sold out only because I was like, but it didn't come out the way we wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> it was too dark. Yeah. It was... It was too dark, and then because it was setting up so fast. It was too dark, and then all the colors were way too close. Yeah. This, at least, I feel like is going to have a better contrast. I think that's been one of the more interesting things about our journey as soap makers, is even looking back at some of our earlier ones, I'm like, yeah, I can see some success in that, but I can also see how I would do it differently now. Right. You know, I mean, we're, we're going to be coming up on our one year of the business. We'd, we'd been making soap for a while before that, before we officially started the business. But I don't know. We've learned a lot, I think. Yeah. We've changed a lot, you know, in our soap, in terms of even where we're going with our YouTube channel. Yeah. I mean, the YouTube channel has been around since I think technically February or March, somewhere around there. I'd have to look, but. I know it's been six months. Yeah. And I, I feel like we've learned a lot and we've changed a lot and we have a better idea of where we're going. This is going to be a really somber video compared to our normal bull. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll throw in some bull, bull during the cut. Yeah, good. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, so Big Bad Wood is all done on the top here and ready to be sitting in the mold for about 24 hours. I really am digging these colors. It does look a lot like fudge right now, though. <laughs> like a little bit of caramel fudge, a little bit of dark chocolate fudge. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you back in 24 hours to give these a cut. So, welcome back to Cat and Raven Designs. We're going to cut our uh, second version of Big Bad Wood. Look at that. It's got a knot. Right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut this bad boy. And oh my god, by the way, it smells amazing. It does smell really good. It does. I got a name. <laughs> Name of that fragrance. I want everything to smell like spake me leather. You would. And cut off the end piece here. One. Big reveal. Two. Three. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my oh god. Wow, that looks cool. Yes. And then the top, it's like, looks like, it, it looks, so whole loaf, it looks like, mm, but individual bar, look at that. I'm regretting my life choices a little less right now. I mean, it's not as woody as I was hoping, but it still looks cool. Hey, and I don't see any inappropriate shapes yet in the soap. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll point them out when I see them. Mm-hmm, you usually do. Yeah, I don't know how much it makes me think of wood, honestly. Like, a little bit, sure, but it also really looks a lot like, um, earth. Like a, what do you call it? When you get, like, a slice. Uh, me running. <laughs> I, I don't know. I know what you're talking about, and I cannot remember the word. Do you like doing outdoorsy stuff? I do. I do too. I like going camping. I also like having our soaps have sort of punny names. Right? Big Bad Wood is definitely one of them. Fairly certain Raven's over here rolling her eyes right now because I am legitimately checking every single bar for something inappropriate. Yeah, I appreciate that extra <laughs> time you're putting into every single one of these bars. <laughs> Definitely gonna love that in editing. <laughs> Great. So sorry that you did not get inappropriate soap like you were wanting. That's okay. You poor thing. That just means it'll be on your loaf. <laughs> <laughs> or it just won't be. Alright, so here is the second loaf. Looking very party. Got that texture on the top. One of these days, we will be able to buy a multi-bar cutter. One of these days. And then you won't have to watch us cut individual bars. We can just cut all of them at once. But even the very cheapest multi-bar cutter is like $180. So it's going to be a little bit. Our like $40 DIY bar cutter we'll have to do for now. This loaf will be all cured up around the end of November. The thing I have been trying to figure out lately is that most- Also, I saw 69 in that bar. <laughs> There's just enough white in between. I don't see it. You, you work really hard for these. <laughs> no, I saw it. It was right. in the black. It's like a shadow 69. Jeez. Anyway, so this is going to be cured at the end of November. Something I've been trying to figure out for us is that just due to our life schedule, we can't always do all of our designs so that they are cured and ready to go all around the same time. It's kind of hard to do. So I keep trying to figure out, would it be better to just 
release them as they're cured or like do a big release i mean it's not like we're at the point that we sell out so i don't know if it really matters at the end of the day but like i don't know if anybody has a preference of would they rather that we release everything all in one big go or do little mini individual releases as each loaf becomes cured i don't know what do you think, people out there? I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put a poll up in the iCard. Would you rather that there be one big monthly release where everything comes out at the same time? Or would you rather just stuff become available as it goes? Ooh, Usha's gagged. What? I mean, maybe. Hold up, hold up. Hold yeah, up. yes. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> Yeesh. I had to work really hard for that, for finding the inappropriate things in the soap. Oh, you poor thing. I feel for you. Okay, so here's Big Bad Wood. All finished up, cut into lovely bars. I still think it looks a lot like fudge. But it smells really good. It's a nice... I'd say it's a very neutral scent. Yeah. Now that it's in the soap. I like it a lot. You can catch us at catandravendesigns.com. We're also Cat and Raven Designs on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to come and grab some of our soaps, go ahead and check us out. Currently, our URL links to our Etsy site, so you can pick up our soaps there. You can also favorite our shop there, and it gives you updates when we post new soaps. All right. Well, it was good doing a remake with you guys. We'll catch you at a later time. Bye-bye.